What's up everybody, Miss Montana De Leon here with a video on a question that a young lady asked me. She asked me, uh, Montana, can you make a video on how to have a solid relationship with a truck driver? I honestly can't tell you because from my personal experience and even before I came out here on the road and was starting to be a truck driver myself, um, I noticed that it's too easy for males to be unfaithful out here on the road. I've seen it firsthand. I've experienced it a couple of times. Y'all know me. I'm CIA, FBI, NYPD, LAPD, um, First 48, Law and Order, I'm all that. I'm forensic files, all that. So I be searching. Um, and you be talking to these dudes and you ask them if they got a girl. They'll be like, no, or they just broke up with the girl, or they single, they not married, whatever. And so far from my experience, not true. Um, I don't know about all truck drivers. I just know about the ones that I've dealt with and the ones that I've seen personally cheating on their girl that I know have a girl. And the sad part about it is when you run into the female, or you know the female, or you find the girl's uh, internet presence and you, you see her saying, well, my man don't cheat. I know my man don't cheat. And I love my man and my man is that there on the other and he ain't doing that on the other end. And I hate to see females tell people what their man ain't doing. Oh, my man ain't gonna cheat. My man is, we good, he happy. I would never never speak from my mate in my relationship especially if I'm not around him 24 hours a day seven days a week I can't tell you what he doing behind my back I can only help him pray that he don't try me um and I better not find out and I see a lot of females also that don't want to stay on top of their man the good and the bad to find out if he doing anything wrong y'all just out there in la la land trusting without verifying and that's okay if that's how you want to live you want to you know blind leading the blind that's fine that's not me i want to look and find out if you're doing anything wrong behind my back so i can leave immediately i don't want to waste my time being good to a dude that's not being good to me so as soon as i find out that you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing i can quit the relationship and not waste any more time a lot of women don't want to find out their man is doing something behind their back talking to another woman or whatever they just really really are happy and content living in la la land ain't nothing wrong with that it's just that that ignorance is not for me i won't i won't do that i'm just not gonna do it um the only way i really see somebody being with a truck driver and being having a solid relationship if you're teaming if you and your man are team driving you with him all day you have a better chance of having a good solid relationship with him because you can see what he's doing you can see who he's calling you can see who he's texting you're right there with him you have access to his phone you have your access to him you have you know what i'm saying you're there to see with your own eyes and hear with your own ears and i'm sorry i'm just i'm real i'm raw i'm uncut and i'm speaking from experience i know people are probably like oh she's gonna say you know have faith and you know trust in God, let God be the relationship or whatever it is that y'all was hoping I was going to say when I came on here. No. I've seen what's possible. I've seen what these guys do with their free time that they have away from their girl. I've seen couples that drive trucks separately. She'll drive a truck, he'll drive a truck. He ain't, he ain't being 100. I've seen that I've talked to females and I'm like, yo, this is what's going on. Here go to proof when I find out who she is, because I will find her. You got her, I'm going to find her. I'm going to send her all the information I got. I'm going to send her proof and let her do what she wants. She going to cry and stay or she going to thank me and leave. You know? But I've seen it firsthand and it's hard. If you can't keep an eye on your mate, your mate ain't around you all the time. It ain't even about, oh, I'm going to trust him and he ain't give me no reason to. Either you stay on top of your man or you just live in la-la land and don't care. You got to be on top of your man. Well, I mean, like I say, some of y'all women don't care. Y'all want to live in la-la land. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to be on top of my man. 
make sure you're doing right <laughs> by me. I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm on top of you as far as like making sure you're not cheating or anything like that. And I'm going to also be on top of you making sure I figure out what it is you like, what makes you happy, what you're into, ways that I can cater you. I'm going to be on top of my man in a good way and a bad way. That's just how I am in relationships. Or I'd just rather be single. This stupid. But, um, yeah. That was just my two cents. That was just from my experience. That was just for me. Seeing other people get cheated on. That's for me. Talking to dudes that I've later on found out that had a woman. And we never ended up getting into a relationship. Because I found this out. I've went further with dudes and found out later they had a girl one dude i was talking to had a baby on the way i found out late mm. I'm, I'm done but hey do what you want to do in your relationship that's just my advice for my experiences being out here on the road seeing stuff firsthand and also dealing with truck drivers firsthand and just talking to other people relationship wise what has transpired. Love some.